we are now going to graph the intersections and unions of inequalities. So remember, an intersection is an and problem, and a union problem is an or problem. And so for an intersection, we want to know which region two or more inequalities want to shade. And for a union, we want to know if any region is shaded at all by any equation, and if it is, then it's part of our answer. So we're going to start with an intersection. We know it's an intersection because it has the end. In this case, we have two different pieces. So we're going to graph these two pieces. X is greater than or equal to 3 is a vertical line at 3. And when I plug 0, 0 into it, 0 is not greater than or equal to 3. This is false. So it shades away. And if this were the region I was shading, I'd shade over here. For my second equation, my second inequality, we're just treat it like an equation, and it's already in the right form. So we're going to start at 1 and go up 2 over 1, and down 2 back 1, so that we get an, a decently straight line. Again, it's a solid line because it's an or equals. When we plug in 0, 0, we get 0 is less than or equal to 2 times 0 minus 1. Evaluating that shows us that this is false. So he also wants to shade in this direction and would shade all of this region. And notice that the blue is should be shading up here too. Well, the problem is that we, this isn't accurate because we only want the region they both shade, which is right here. And so we will erase our shade lines. Instead, in green, I'm going to box in the region. So it takes that line and then it comes down this line. And the answer is this region and only this region. Because this region is only shaded by 1, this region is only shaded by 1, and this region isn't shaded at all. This is the only region shaded by both. And that's how we shade an intersection. Now for a union, it takes the same work. We do the same thing. We just start with the first one, and we'll do the second one later. And the first one takes a little bit of work, so let's first write it as an equation. And let's solve for x, or for y, excuse me. Multiply both sides by a minus 3. We'll move the x. That gives us a y equals 3x minus 6. So we'd start down here at minus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and go up 3 over 1. All the way along, and we get a dashed line right through there. And if we plug in 0, 0, we see that 0 minus 1 third times 0 is less than 2. 0 minus 0 is less than 2. So this is a true statement. And it will shade this side. He's pointing this way. Where y is greater than or equal to minus 3 is a horizontal line at minus 3. And he's solid because of the or equals. And if we plug in 0, 0 into this, 0 is bigger than minus 3. This is true as well. So he wants to shade up, and his answer would be right here. Well, because this is a or, anything that they shade gets shaded. So we're going to still do this line like this, but now our shading is all of this region. Everything but this unshaded region gets shaded, and this is our answer. So that's how we shade the intersection and the union of inequalities.